Springs free. Michael Porter Jr. gets the scoring started on a good pass from Gordon. Yeah, and usually it's Jokic as the trigger man as a passer. You'll see a lot more off-ball screening and movement from the Nuggets than you will from the Celtics. Here's Drew Holiday working with Porzingis. Puts it up. No good. Gets his own. And now Brown inside. No, he kicks it to White for three. Comes up short. White gets his own. A second offensive rebound. And now Brown wants to get it organized. First possession of the game for the Celtics. Two offensive rebounds. Shot clock down to three. And now Tatum will let it fly. That's a good sign early. Tatum and Brown really struggled from three-point range in their matchup in Boston. And, and is obviously a little bit more proven than Boston's starting foul. Murray turns it over. White runs the distance and lays it in. Denver normally protects the ball well. They did have some turnover issues Tuesday night against Phoenix. Nuggets have their six-game winning streak snapped Tuesday night to the shorthanded Suns. And, of course, Boston losing to the shorthanded Cavaliers as Caldwell Pope hits a mid-range jumper. Well, Caldwell Pope got some space because Tatum bumped Jokic on the cut to the post. Tatum and Porzingis. And now Porzingis, the turnaround is good. What a difference maker he's been for the Celtics this year. Well, look, he, he's so dangerous on pick and rolls because he can roll as he did there, slipped out of there before there was even a dribble, but he can also pop and shoot the three. Been a perfect system for Porzingis. There's Gordon on the receiving end that time as Jokic sets him up beautifully. Two really good teams, but different. You won't see many layups off the pass from the Celtics. Holiday taking Porter inside, lays it in. Jokic, a triple-double machine, has 19 triple-doubles this year. Was it a, an assist away from a triple-double in Boston in their last matchup? Turn around is shot. Well, the Nuggets just not doing a great job the last couple of games taking care of the ball. Gordon posting up Brown. Deegan, fewest turnovers as Jokic drops Porzingis. It's a dunk. A rare dunk. Last two years, Jokic has way more triple doubles than he does dunks as Brown answers on the other end. That's a technical foul on Jalen Brown. Tony Brothers, a good official, but the other. Murray Strong gets inside and scores. Jokic hits the deck. Boston pushes it here. After the make, Brown taking on Gordon. Brown lays it in. Oh, Jalen Brown, he's got some purpose to him tonight. Jalen Brown, a notoriously quick starter in the threes all night. Brown with a three pointer, missed it. And back come the Nuggets. Jokic at the controls. And now Porter, who has been on fire lately. Coach, he's come out of the car after losses, particularly this year. That's a championship mentality right there, Chris. And Coach saw that 11-1 mark. This They're graded both ends. Their top six guys, as we see Horford coming into the game, all can shoot the ball, every one of them, from three-point range. There's not one guy who's a defensive liability. There's no one you can go at. There's just Denver had their six field goals all assisted as Jason Tatum. Iso gets to the top and knocks down the mid-range jump shot. Way too much. He switches. The best in the league. He rolls down and he's very, very efficient scoring against mismatches. They switch there. They got the mismatch. Reggie Jackson just into the game gets abused by Porzingis inside. You, you cannot effectively switch the Porzingis mismatches. If you do, you have to be able to keep him from rolling you down deep. Ooh. White got a block. Minnesota won earlier tonight, so that's right now a game and a half as Reggie Jackson goes strong to the basket. Coach Reggie Jackson has been in a slump here lately. He has, but right there able to get all the way to the rim on a great screen from Jokic, who's fifth in the league in screen assists. Tatum fires and it goes. A few rattles around the rim. Jason Tatum knocks down the three. So he's hit two three-pointers. Well, that one was very deep. First minutes coming off the Denver bench, and he hits it. That's a big story for Denver. They're not getting much production 
from their three main bench players, especially on the perimeter. That's exactly right, and that's why you see Justin Holiday getting some time tonight. Holiday did not play against Phoenix on Tuesday. Watson got a steal. Holiday's running with him. Watson gives it to him, and Justin Holiday's in the book. And now Justin will pick up his brother Drew. Drew fires. Oh. Missed it. Brown with the rebound, and the Nuggets a chance to grab the lead here. Two and a half minutes left in this first.